This question asks us which compound does not react with nucleophiles. So the first thing we need to establish here is exactly what a nucleophile is so that we can figure out what it will and won't react with. So a nucleophile is an electron pair donor. Examples of nucleophiles that you might have seen in class might be something like a hydroxide anion or um, ammonia, where they can both donate these lone pairs that they have to centers of electron deficiency. So the things we're looking for in the compounds um, for something that will react with a nucleophile is a center of electron deficiency, and the compound that won't react with a nucleophile is something that doesn't have a center of electron deficiency. So if we draw out these compounds, it's going to help us to figure out which ones do and don't have centers of electron deficiency. So first of all, we've got A, this is propanol. B is propene. C is butanone. And D is 1-chloropropane. Um, so there are three of these compounds that have centers of electron deficiency. So starting with A, we've got propanol, um, where we've got this carbonyl, and this oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon. It's better at pulling those shared pairs of electrons towards it, which makes this carbon delta positive and the oxygen delta negative. So a nucleophile is very happily going to attack this carbon here because it's short on electrons and the nucleophile has electrons to give. Compound C and butanone, we also have this delta positive carbon for the same reasons as in propanol. And in D, we also have a delta positive carbon because this um, Cl is the chlorine, it's more ele electronegative than the carbon, so it pulls those electrons away from it, meaning this carbon is slightly electron deficient. In propene, we don't have a center of electron deficiency. In fact, this alkene carbon-carbon double bond is a center of electron, um, sort of high electron concentration, um, and that is not going to react with a nucleophile. So here, our answer is going to be B.